Cow. <laughs> College of winning. Subscribe, whatever 33 TV. What's up, people? Here's a little video on how to make Pickle Rick on Call of Duty World War II Emblem Editor. So check it out. Okay, just to tell you how to get there, you go to the dossier, you go to Emblems, you gotta go over and edit Emblems, and I've sped up the speed on this because it was gonna be like a really long video. So first I pick a, a square and uh, that's going to be my background color, right? And uh, some of these things that you see, I'm going to change them as we go a little later after, you know, tweak stuff later. So it's not permanent. Like uh, the background color is actually not going to be black. It's going to be blue. So um, I set up my favorite colors. There's a, so that's my palette. Some of my colors I'm going to use, but I use more. All right. And I'm going to use this shape for the pickle. Use two of those. Um, you can use the dog tag, but then you got like a hole to deal with and it, it takes an extra layer to cover it up. Alright, so then quickly, uh, there's the pickle. We'll go to the eyeballs and some copy and pasting is a nice method to get the same shape, same color, and then it'll uh, paste at the same spot. You just drag it over. Now um, on this, copy, paste, and then switch to outline and switch the color to black and it just outlines the shape you're on. So that's a nice little trick. Also, uh, shrink it all the way down to do the pupils. So, circles moving right along. Alright, and then the eyebrow. And I'm actually going to change this one later to change his mood. But for now, it goes up. Okay, uh, some bags under the eyes. They, you know, they don't have every shape. It's not perfect, but uh, make do with what they have. Uh, half the nose here, and the nose I actually will be changing later too, uh, to a straighter, less curved nose. It gives a better Rick look. All right, well, we can keep moving. So I will change that nose. Alright, some uh, stretch marks around the, the mouth. And we're gonna, there's no like peanut shape for the mouth, so got to do some circles. I, just, I like to work with the shape, like with the color that's easy to see. And then duplicate it. And we're going to duplicate it one more time. And we're actually going to use this stretch and skew method, which you have to do sometimes uh, to get more of the shape you want. So I take it down here where I can see it, and I make it more of an oval, and then bring it up and put it in place, and you know, keep adjusting it, trying to get my best position, but I think I got it now. So Again, this is sped up because it was very, uh, you know, it's a little slower to actually do. I'll link all these layers, uh, all the eyes together and everything, and get them adjusted. And I actually made them a little bigger and uh, centered them. So you can link things in a group, uh, a set, and adjust them. All right, then this is the throwing knife. Uh, we're going to be his uh, highlight of his body. So, And I am actually do end up changing that color to a more vibrant color later. But uh, you move that layer underneath the others, and then uh, everything will be on top of it. So uh, don't be worried when it covers everything up, like this here. I use it just in white, so like don't change the color yet to see what I'm doing. And I match the color, and then I bring it underneath. And there you go. Like I said, I will be changing that that uh, that green to a more a pop when it pops a little better. Nope, highlight on the forehead. Now stretch and skew, get the right shape, because it's just not the way they had it. And it's a different color green for that. A little 
brighter. There we go. Now I believe I go to the teeth. And I did pick this, and that these teeth are a little too pointy. And even if I skewed them down, they still have kind of a weird uh, triangle angle offset shape. But uh, yeah, here I put them in. But I ended up changing them to this uh, to this half circle and skewing it and uh, making them white. And uh, that'll be uh, coming up a little bit later. I'll fix that. All right, that's end of part one. Uh, go to part two to see Pickle Rick get his rat suit. All right, guys, thanks for watching my video. Um, below the video, you can subscribe. I would appreciate that. And like the video as well. You can share with your friends on all these different places, Facebook, Twitter, Google+, Reddit. You can also email it to anybody you like and add to your favorite video list. Underneath my video, you click my name and it'll bring to my channel, Web3Free TV. And my video, thanks, guys. You're awesome. Whatever the